So yeah, we're gonna play some season two, and like I was saying, um, it's a whole new game. I mean, they they Capcom released a document showing about ninety plus pages of ninety two, in fact, yeah, 92, 92 pages worth of uh, of of patch notes. Uh, outlining in detail all the changes for every single character, and not a single character went untouched. Um, yeah, lots of uh, some some nerfs, some big nerfs, and some huge buffs. Uh, it's a it's a whole new game. Yeah, I think it's there's there's like a lot of uh, sweeping changes also. I think yes, uh, that's the, right. the and I think if you're if you're a more casual player, a lot of this stuff will go unno pretty much unnoticed. Right. Yeah, it will. Um, but. I think the the one thing that you might notice if you if you play even ca on a casual level, oh god, we're playing it's Alora. Uh, so I, what I was gonna say is that uh, one, the one thing I think that people will notice is that uh, invulnerable wake ups have taken a severe hit. That's right. And that that is something that affects even if you don't have an invulnerable wake up, it affects all characters because now it has it puts everyone on more equal playing Absolutely. field. So yeah, the other thing about about the change is that now you know that puts a premium for people who did have reversals of some kind. Um, you know their EX reversals are still invincible and Fight. fully invincible. So yeah. that that kind of puts them in a uh, in a new situation now where you know they have to spend meter to get that defense that they had before. And you know it's cool because that um, that means oh, that people uh, maybe. <gasps> Oh, sorry, I interrupted. I was so excited by the potential perfect. They and you perfect. got it! There nice. it is. Nice. <laughs> yeah, well done, well done. Um, so yeah, so now what's cool is that if people want to use that defensively against me as Alex, they want to burn that EX meter um, on offense, that means that there's uh, there's few opportunities for them to use that, that stuff offensively. Um, so that really helps me a lot. So overall, do you think... Uh, are, I mean, I know that he, he took some hits, but... With the changes that affect everyone in in season two, or like like the the removal of the wake up sure you can for or wake up reversal attack for many many characters, uh, are you are you happy with with how Alex is is performing in season two? Or um, what's interesting is that like I thought I was gonna have a lot more trouble than I actually have. Um, that's not to say that I'm doing great with him, but. Nope, that's not what I was looking for. Um, <laughs> not to say that I've been doing great, but oh man, that's see, that's the struggle. That, that's the struggle right there. Is uh, he never had a strong anti-air game? Is he had anti-air jab? They nerfed his anti-air jab. They made crouching fierce a better anti-air, but it still gets stuffed in a lot of situations. Mm -hmm. um, and cr Laura's crouching medium kick right now is proving to be uh, oh, one of nice. those situations for me. Jump, jump at me, jump. There we go. There it is. Ask, oh, him, ask him he shall receive. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask a general question here. What do you think is the 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 state of Street Fighter Five at this point? Do you think it's a healthy healthy fighting game that, that has long legs or... Uh, um, yeah, no, I think it definitely has, uh, has long legs uh, for sure. Um, you know, I think that the changes they made in Season 2, like I complained, I've complained on Twitter a lot, I'm not going to lie. I was that toxic complaining Twitter guy about... <laughs> Specifically because of how Alex took the nerf, and I wasn't happy about that because I, you know, Alex was already demonstrably by almost every metric you can look at a bottom five character, and so I don't really see why he needed as many nerfs as he did. But the one, um, but that my personal feelings and different feelings about Alex's uh, the state of Alex. But that that aside, I think they did a very strong thing. Um, I think it was so smart of them to change what they changed about. Oh, whoops! To change. Um, the invincible reversals. I feel like, um, and I know not everyone feels this way, but I feel like invincible reversals have been a crutch in Street Fighter and fighting games for too long. Yeah. Um, I feel like uh, making those, basically saying you, if you want a get out of jail free card, you have to spend meter. Yeah. Uh, I think is going to elevate the level, of, the overall level of play um, in uh, in this game. Uh, by a lot. Yeah, so overall, I think the changes are going to... Um, you win. They're going to keep people from leaning on uh, easy gimmicks and um, easy get-out-of-jail-free tools, uh, easy pressure off of back throws. The back throw loops are just silly, yeah. you know? Um, a lot of the really easy-to-abuse tricks are kind of now taken out, of the, taken out of the equation. And honestly, I feel like that's better for the game competitively. I think that'll help more... Um, more different kinds of characters flourish, and I also think that it, it'll encourage a, a higher overall level of play from people who maybe don't consider themselves like super serious players. Um, but once you stop getting mileage out of simple, easy, basic things, I think you uh, 
what it's one of two things you're either going to leave um and then at least you won't be i don't want to say that like people who are abusing simple easy things are like toxic they're not toxic but it's like you can easily beat those players if you're smart but it also becomes boring you know right. like, like i can like i think we're all we can all agree that like no matter how many even if you beat 10 shotos in a row who are bad who just throw out random dps whenever they feel like it and bunny hop like you know like there's no tomorrow um even if you beat 15 of those in a row like it's not that you can't beat them it's that you're you're kind of tired of playing against that right like yeah. I, mean, I don't know about you but like even for sure. Street Fighter 4 and 5 and years of Street Fighter before that like I'm good I don't I don't need to fight that fight again like I'm I, I want to fight like I get excited when I see an Ibuki right yeah. or a jury or, or even a Yurian who we're gonna see so many Yurians in season two because <laughs> he was already secretly up there as a really strong character and they buffed the hell out of him in season two. He's gonna be yeah. such terror in this game. But like I, I actually get excited to play different kinds of matchups. So if um if this forces people to get out of their comfort zone or makes them go, you know what? Um at the very least I have to approach my Ken or my Ryu or my Akuma for that matter even though he's new to this game. Right. Uh, if, they, if that makes people have to approach their characters differently and makes playing characters at a, at a lower or intermediate level more interesting and helps them get better at the game also, I think that's only good for everybody. So I think sure. the game has uh, is going to be in a good place.